Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is going over the five best and five worst gadgets in Brawl Stars. Now, I personally love the addition of gadgets into the game. They're really cool and they add another element to what is already a little bit of a somewhat simple game. They add a little bit of complexity and it just adds another kind of element and layer to the game. So I'm really into them. I know you guys like them. Now, I know you guys don't have a lot of them, and you guys get them in your shop every once in a while, and I know you guys don't have 199,000 coins like I do, or 300,000 coins like all the big YouTubers and pros have. So what we're gonna be doing for you guys, again, showing the five best, so ones that you guys should buy, and five worst, so ones you guys should stay away from. Now, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to do more videos with gadgets, because I know a lot of you guys don't have them. So is it something you guys are curious to learn about, or is it something that you guys want me to stay away from a little bit but anyways if you guys can subscribe and leave a like on the video leaving a like does far more than you guys think it actually does it helps out a ton so if you guys can just drop down and leave a like it only takes one second that would help out my channel tremendously so with that being said let's start off with the five worst gadgets in brawl stars let's get into it okay so coming in at number 30 we have tick so ticks gadget is tick makes a quick dash leaving a single mine on the ground now this is decent it's not horrible but it is also pretty bad and pretty useless. So if you're playing Tick properly, you're never gonna get in an actual situation where you have to use his getaway. You should already be five to six tiles away hiding behind a wall somewhere. So you should never actually be in a spot where you do have to charge away or dash away with Tick. Um, the reason it's so low is also because it's rarely used. Now it might be like the 25th or 26th when it, actual come, when it actually comes to usefulness when you use it. But just the amount that you use it, it's gonna be very rare. There's never a point where I actually have to use it. So it's basically, useless um additionally the tick bomb only does 700 damage instead of the original like 896 that a normal tick shot does so it even does even less damage than it's supposed to and these are the reasons why tick is going to be number 30 on our list so coming in at number 31 we have daryl so daryl spins around and sprays a barrage of shots in all directions now this one is also pretty useless because it basically it just doesn't fit Daryl. You're gonna you guys are gonna notice with the top five gadgets that it actually fits the brawlers really well, but this one just doesn't fit Daryl at all. At close range, Daryl can do up to 3.3 thousand damage, but his shot when you use his gadget only does about 700 damage, and you're only gonna hit it like one time, maybe two if you're lucky. So it's basically very wasteful. You have to stand still when you use it, which also sucks. There was a little bit of a miss roll over there. I did a little bit of a spin. But um, it's basically useless. Instead of shooting a really good shot, you're standing still, taking a lot of damage, and basically doing absolutely nothing. Now, there is one time where this can actually be really useful, which is when you roll into a bot when you're defending one in Siege. And if you spin while you're inside of it, you can actually deal a ton of damage. Now, unfortunately, this is really niche, and besides this, it is 100% useless to use this gadget. So we're going to put it at the 31 spot, and that is going to be covered Daryl. So coming in at number 32, we're going to have Piper. Now this is basically a completely useless gadget because Piper is supposed to be eight to 10 tiles away from her, uh, from her opponent, but you basically have to be one to two tiles away for this to actually work out. Now the gadget can only be decent at one to two tiles away, which in 99% of cases, you're going to die as a Piper. The only real time that it could be effective is if someone is one shot and right beside you, in which you can click the gadget button and potentially stay alive if your shots get off before his or hers. The gadget also cannot lock, in, uh, lock onto any players in bushes, so if you're facing any high IQ players, they can literally just walk over to a bush that's one tile away from you and your gadget won't be able to fire. Additionally, you cannot aim this gadget and it kind of sprays in a really weird direction, so you can only really hit a maximum of one or if not two shots with the Piper. Um, a lot, All the pro Piper players are pretty disappointed at this gadget, which is completely understandable. It is basically useless and that's why it's going to be at the number 32 spot. So coming in at number 33, we have B. So B drops a beehive with a splash of sticky honey around it. The honey slows down enemies that step in it. So theoretically, slowing people down is really good and speed is something that's really essential in Brawl Stars, but this just does not work out at all. So this is a bottom three gadget, bottom two gadget for very good reason. The honey has only 1000 HP, which means it can be practically one shot by any brawler in the game. You guys can see the honey right here. It's essentially useless nobody is ever going to step in it and if they were they can just shoot it one time and get the kill um i there really is no use for it um this is basically completely useless um against every brawler in the game especially if you face a thrower it's just 100 percent useless useless you literally can't do anything with it if you're facing a thrower and i mean it's just 
it B is also a far range brawler. So as I said before, brawlers that are gadgets that complement the brawler as well are usually what you guys are going to see at the top. This doesn't complement B as well uh, at all because B likes to stay as far away from brawlers as possible, as you guys can see with the gameplay right here. But you guys just can't do that and make this gadget effective. So that's why it's going to be the number 33 and the second worst gadget on our tier list. So coming in at number 34, unfortunately, we have Dynamite. So Dynamite spins furiously and throws multiple stakes of Dynamite around himself. Each Dyna shot deals 700 to enemies. Now they showed this in the Brawl Talk and everyone was like, oh my god, this looks so OP. But it's actually trash. This could have easily have been the worst gadget on everybody's list. Just look at me. I'm basically doing nothing. I have to stand still. I can't shoot any shots. I'm a very easy target and at best you're going to hit one dynamite stick for 700 damage which is significantly lower than one normal dynamite stick actually is. I mean it's just extremely easy to juke, it's basically useless and there's no actual reason to ever be using it. Um, I'm sorry if you guys got this gadget or if you bought it because the only reason you could use it properly is for a BM and to make fun of the other team for beating them. So that's going to be it, and that's going to round off our bottom five list. So with that being done, with that being said, then we're now going to move into our top five gadgets in Brawl Stars. So let's kick off number five. Let's get into the game. Bro, Dynamite is so epic. It is only for BM. So coming in at number five, we have Crow. So Crow gets a shield for 60% of the incoming damage for 3.0 seconds. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty thick shield. So to understand, this gives Crow a total of 5,376 HP if you were to have your shield on during the whole time. Um, this gives Crow basically a huge shield to protect and protects him during an array of different plays that Crow can now do um, a lot better than he was able to before. So some of these plays include jumping onto a brawler for kills. So, you know, if you guys are just going to use your super and dive onto a brawler, you guys can be very well protected while doing this now. Um, this can also allow you to jump to kick the ball forward and try and jump onto it Which obviously is a lot easier when you have almost double your HP and as well as jumping onto a bot or trying to protect the bot or in, in Siege or even jumping onto the Ike trying to do the last 10% of damage This can actually be really useful for that and it just actually makes Crow a much better brawler You can also use this you can just pop it and walk forward and kind of auto aim a few shots If you want to take out a spike or something which is something we've already done in this gameplay and I mean, this just, it's just a really good star power, or sorry, not, I always say star power, really good gadget, it protects Crow really well, it's very useful, I would highly recommend getting this one if it does appear in your shop. So coming in at number four, we have Rosa. So Rosa fertilizes the ground around her and bushes instantly grow to provide cover. Now this, just like the other star or gadgets I'm going to be showing you guys shortly, goes hand in hand with the star powers that she has and really does make sense for the brawler. So a star power that Rosa has is that she gains 200 health per second while in a bush. And obviously that is really good outside of the fact that she's just a tank and being in a bush is way sneakier and really a huge advantage for her. So on some maps you can connect the grass really well leaving no open tiles which makes Rosa extremely sneaky and one of if not the top brawler in the game. Um, on many maps, specifically Siege, the mid is kind of very clumped up and there's not a lot that separates things. So putting grasses in one area can cover like half the map and make Rosa an extremely big target and basically the absolute carry on your team. It's a 3x3 three three grass edition, so it does cover a lot of uh, a lot of area. So this is also very good for different team comps that you guys want to have. And if Rosa uses her bushes over an Ike, a penny turret cannot target it. So that's actually extremely useful in Siege because a lot of the times you are going to be facing a penny and it'll explode or something and it'll do a lot of damage to your Ike. So just put one tile of grass over it and it completely blocks out a penny turret or anything from targeting the Ike, which is obviously extremely huge. Now let's move on to the next brawler, which is going to be the top three. And these three are absolutely broken. So I know you guys have to 100% get this. Please do if it comes into your shop or even spend a dollar or two to get these. Let's hop into it and let's show you guys the top three brawlers. Okay, so coming in at number three, we have Poco. So Poco and all nearby allies heal 500 health per second for 5.0 seconds. So this is a total of 2.5 thousand heal for Poco. And then additionally, anybody who is close to Poco also can get those heals. So now this one might not be necessarily as strong as Rose's, but the effect it has on top of the 500 are on top of the 700 heal per shot and then on top of the two point or of the 2940 heal super is just so much heals 
you can't kill Poco if Poco is playing correctly. There's way too many heals, and it's just, it's way too much. It's practically impossible to kill a Poco and anybody that a Poco is trying to specifically heal. And this just makes the tank meta as viable as it's ever been. Um, it's just super strong, way too many heals. This definitely is going to need a nerf because it's 2.5 thousand health on top of the 700 health, on top of the 2.9 health from the super just way too much healing from poco this is really broken it's going to open up an entirely new meta even more it's absolutely broken let's hop into the top two brawlers these ones i struggled with picking the top two so let's hop into these and let's show you guys what they are so coming in at number two and what i believe is going to be number one is nita so Nita commands her bear to slam the ground, stalling all enemies within its reach. So just like Rosa, this badget, or the, I said badget, this gadget goes hand in hand with the star powers that Rose, that Nita has. So you can pick your playstyle. You can either pick Hyper Bear, which is just going to stun and allow your team or allow your bear to do a ton of damage to the brawler you stunned, or you guys can use heal and do not as much damage, but also heal yourself in the process. So I think Nita's gadget is eventually going to be the strongest gadget in the game because number one, I feel a fat nerf coming to it. But this is definitely the best gadget in the game um, besides all the overpowering numbers and what I think is going to end up being the best. So this one also is just really good because you can pinch by yourself. You can just throw a Nita Bear on one side of the wall, go on the other side of the wall and just stun. Your Nita is going to do damage and your Bear is going to do damage. Just absolutely terrific. On top of this, you can stun things like Frank Supers, Ikes, and Turrets. This makes Nita viable in a lot of different modes and maps outside of the ones that she was already viable in. And because people are so afraid to get stunned and get a lot of damage taken to them, they just run away from the Bear super fast. So this just allows you to get position anytime you have a bear and it is very, very useful. So coming in at the number one spot, we have, of course, Jackie. So Jackie gets a burst of energy and moves 38% faster for 3.0 seconds. So for those of you who don't know, Jackie already has a fast movement speed because she is a tank. But on top of this, she gets an additional 38%, which is absolutely lethal. So this is by far the highest movement speed in the game. Kind of close to max, but outside of that, nothing even comes close to it. This allows you to get right beside anybody you want, unless it's like an M's with super or a max with speed running away. It's super lethal because you can three shot basically any brawler in the game. So you can just walk up and just basically three shot whoever you want. You can get easy team wipes with this gadget. You can score goals off the start of a brawl ball match. You can literally on some maps, just use your speed, grab the ball and just walk up fast to be able to get a goal. And then additionally, you can get to lane faster than any other brawler. So you guys can sneak in a lane. They'll think you're like AFK or something and then walk right up to you and bam, they're basically dead because you're just auto aiming them in the face. Now, I do think this is going to be nerfed fairly soon. So if you guys have the option of getting this or Nita's, I would probably get Nita's because Nita's is probably going to be sustainable because there's no numbers. It doesn't do any damage. It's just a really OP stun. Um, but anyways, that's going to be it for my gadget video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If it were up to me, buy the top five gadgets. Don't buy the bottom five gadgets and get what you can. I'm probably going to make a full tier list shortly, probably after the balance changes. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this gadget tier list or this gadget top five and this gadget bottom five. Again, if you guys want to see gadget videos, let me know. If not, let me know in the comments and you know, but for anyways, leave a like on the video. Help me out if you can. That's going to be for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.